The latest wave of leaks surrounding the Sony A7 V has ignited a surge of excitement across the camera world, giving creators, filmmakers, photographers, and tech enthusiasts an increasingly clearer look at Sony's strategy for its next-generation full-frame mirrorless camera, and these newly emerging specifications paint a picture far more ambitious than what earlier conservative predictions suggested as the updated information not only confirms a major announcement date but also reveals a dramatically improved sensor architecture, rumored AI-driven computational photography features, and even a controversial new design element that Sony has never implemented on any full-frame alpha camera before, making the upcoming Sony A7 V one of the most talked-about hybrid cameras in years, especially for those who follow mirrorless upgrades, sensor innovations, and the rapidly evolving competition between Sony, Canon, Nikon, Va Fuji, and Panasonic in the global imaging industry, and as content creators refresh their news feeds searching for reliable Sony A7 V rumors. The latest reports indicate that Sony has locked in the official announcement for December 2nd at 2.30 p.m. London time, equivalent to 9.30 a.m. in New York and Toronto, placing the A7 V firmly in the holiday season lineup a strategic window that typically guarantees high pre-order traffic, market buzz, and heavy analysis from gear reviewers who love dissecting sensor performance, dynamic range capabilities, low light improvements, buffer depth, and the internal processing pipeline, and while earlier predictions theorized that Sony might simply reuse the A7 IV sensor to keep costs down, new reliable information strongly suggests that Sony is going in the opposite direction, introducing a newly redesigned 33-megapixel full-frame sensor constructed on a smaller fabrication node, allowing higher transistor density, improved thermal control, faster readout speeds, and potentially the integration of Sony's newest photoelectric conversion system, which could reduce rolling shutter, enhance 4K oversampling performance, and support higher efficiency data throughput for advanced video modes such as 4K 120fps, 4K 60p oversampled from 7K, upgraded 10-bit 4.2.2 internal codecs, and possibly even new log profiles for improved color science, all while offering stronger phase detection autofocus thanks to more dense on-sensor AF points and advanced AI subject detection algorithms trained to recognize not only humans, animals, and vehicles but also more complex movement patterns, making the Sony A7 V a computational photography powerhouse capable of delivering smoother tracking in unpredictable real-world shooting scenarios for sports, wildlife, weddings, travel filmmaking, and outdoor adventure videography, and the source behind the rumor, known for triple validating information before releasing it, claims an 80% confidence level in the new sensor, which is unusually high at this stage of leaks particularly when combined with reports of Sony pushing experimental technology into the A7 V, including whispers of a never-before-seen feature that some viewers may initially call unnecessary or even a stupid idea, though such innovations often later become standard industry expectations, just like how flip screens, IAF, in-body stabilization, and advanced heat dissipation designs were once considered controversial before becoming essential to modern workflows in photography and video production, and while no one outside Sony knows the exact nature of this mysterious feature, speculation in pro forums hints it could be related to real-time AI upscaling, automatic frame interpolation for ultra-smooth slow motion, a new hybrid EVF mode, an integrated cloud sync backup system, or perhaps a physical interface redesign that changes how creators interact with core shooting functions, and although some users fear a feature like onboard AI upscaling, similar to the divisive editions. Seen on other cameras, Sony's version may be more refined, more customizable, or more flexibly integrated into professional workflows, potentially offering benefits for content creators who prioritize speed, efficiency, and streamlined editing processes, and beyond the sensor discussion. Leaked information also confirms that Sony is preparing a significantly updated Bion's XR processor or a refreshed variant with new instruction sets, much like how Canon repeatedly upgraded its Digic X hardware across multiple bodies will. E maintaining the same branding, and if this holds true for the Sony A7 V, creators can expect smoother menu operation, enhanced buffer clearing, faster startup time, improved color pipeline rendering, 
and possibly higher bitrate options that will appeal to filmmakers searching for greater detail retention and richer tonal accuracy in complex lighting environments. And with pre-order expectations rising, retailers across multiple regions, including major US, UK, and European stores, are preparing early December embargo lifts that may not follow the typical 24-hour restriction cycle, meaning that buyers in some markets could secure their Sony A7 V units sooner than usual, especially if Sony anticipates high demand similar to previous Alpha series releases, and the increasing flood of camera industry discounts on models like the Nikon Z8, Canon EOS R5, Panasonic GH7, and various Sony lenses, indicates that manufacturers are clearing inventory ahead of major 2025 launches. Raising the likelihood that the A7 V will arrive with aggressive promotional bundles or early bird incentives to boost its market penetration against strong rivals, and among these discounts, many photographers are currently debating between wide-angle lenses such as 10-20mm RF equivalents or ultra-sharp 15-35mm f-2.8 alternatives demonstrating how the Sony A7 V leaks are influencing not just camera buying decisions but also broader gear investment strategies as creators prepare their kits for next-generation hybrid shooting demands, and as additional A7 V leaks continue to surface, whether about the shutter mechanism, EVF resolution, IBIS improvements, heat management redesign, battery efficiency upgrades, or new menu options, it becomes increasingly clear that Sony is preparing a meaningful step forward rather than a minor refresh, transforming the A7 V into a compelling option for filmmakers seeking cinematic footage, photographers wanting professional-level sharpness and dynamic range, YouTubers searching for an all-in-one hybrid camera, and vloggers who want strong stabilization and tracking performance for run-and-gun style content creation. And while more details are expected to leak before December, Everything we know today suggests that the Sony A7 V will redefine mid-range full-frame expectations by combining advanced sensor engineering, next-level autofocus, expanded creative modes, and a mysterious experimental feature that may spark debates across social media, gear forums, and professional circles, but ultimately may push the imaging industry forward just like Sony has done repeatedly with its alpha innovations leaving creators around the world waiting eagerly for the official unveiling, spec confirmations, pre-order openings, early hands-on reviews, and real-world comparisons against the Sony A7 IV, Canon R6 Mark II, Nikon Z6 III, Panasonic S5 II, and other highly competitive hybrid cameras in the rapidly evolving 2025 full-frame mirrorless landscape.